I'm sorry. We got was... cut off there. No, Thanks legit, every... legit, legit, <laughs> no, because I was watching. I was. Well... Welcome to Pete and Hannah's review show. What's next? On today's show, we have movie news mm -hmm. and clickbait. Mm -hmm. But before we get started, Hen, tell the lovely people what they should do. Can you please like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel? Hit the notification button and you'll get great content like this one. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do movie news and we've got clickbait and we're going to tell people what's on next week's yeah. show. Let's go over to my favourite segment, Hannah and movie news. Da -da -da -da. Welcome back to movie news. This week we have a special edition. I've got my co-host here, Pete. Hello everyone. Ah, uh, so what do we have for the folks today this week? Uh, we're gonna name our um, three most anticipated movies each. Mm -hmm. um, so we've nearly gone through our, we've got Barbie and Oppenheimer and, yeah, and so uh, that's... Sisu. And that'll be the end of all our movies that we've yeah, done. So that's why we, we kind of skipped straight to August because those movies are coming yeah. out and we're... We're very close. And we, we all know we're already anticipated for them. So we're going to shine a light on three other movies. My um, number three most anticipated movie um, that I'm really looking forward to is Napoleon. Ah, yes. Directed by Ridley Scott, starring Joaquin Phoenix. We love um, Scott. Trailer <laughs> dropped this week and uh, it looks amazing. I'm really looking forward to that. And hopefully it'll get Ridley Scott his best director Oscar that he most thoroughly deserves. Definitely. 100%. Some yes. movies I would have given him to earlier. Yeah. Anyway, uh, mine, I'd have to go with The Challengers. Oh. Uh, Zendaya. Yeah. Zendaya. Luca Guadagnini. Yeah. yeah. Yep. Call me more my name. A tennis, a tennis movie. Yeah. Which, you know, who doesn't love a good uh, sports movie? Yeah. I mean, seriously. But uh, kind of a love triangle playoff. Uh, yeah, I just, I think Zendaya looked incredible. And she's got not only that, but Dune as well yeah. later this year. So it's. Going to be a big year for her too. Uh, number two. Speaking of Dune, I'm going Dune Part Two as my number really? two. Really? Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm really looking forward to that movie. Yeah. You, you love the Austin Butler. I do love the Austin <laughs> Butler. You know I do. You know I do. <laughs> um, yeah, no. yeah. Well, I, uh, the first one we saw at the cinemas, and I thought it was really good. Yeah, I would love to see how the actual other half of the first movie goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, so I'm really looking forward to that. Yeah. What's your number two? I would, I don't know, you know what I'm going to go with, uh, um, Past Lives. Past Lives, yes. Yes, yeah. it's this, um, movie about, she, like, leaves, um, Korea, is it? Yeah, yeah. she leaves Korea, goes to live in America, you know, lives life, and then has a husband, and then her childhood friend comes to comes to America and oh, she yeah. kind of... It looks amazing. It looks so good. Depressing. Yeah. I love depressing. It looks uh, amazing. Oh. Uh, the number one most anticipated movie for me, um, some honourable mentions, the Turtles movie. I'm really looking forward to yeah. that. Um, I'm looking forward to Aquaman. I really like the first one. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I'm looking forward to many other movies, but there's one movie that I'm looking forward to more than most. Mm. Uh, oh, Kills the Flower Moon is and also yeah, yeah. another one. Um, Brandon Fraser's in that. Okay. But I'm looking forward to my man, Denzel Washington, Equalizer 3. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to snacking, snapping necks, looking at the watch, making sure things get done, you know. Uh, love. And uh, Denzel Washington uh, reunites with... Um, uh, Dakota, oh. uh, Dakota Fennett. Yes. Yeah. Wow. So anyone that's seen Men on Fire, uh, they had great chemistry in those two, so I'm really looking forward to uh, watch that. What's your most anticipated uh, movie? I was thinking about it. I wanted to give it a shout out to Haunted Mansion because I, yeah. love, I love the Disney train. I, <laughs> I'd love if they referenced the Eddie Murphy one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Be hilarious. But I think, you know what, strangely enough, when I saw that trailer for uh, Craven the Hunter... I was. Oh wow! I had. I was just like, wow. We're shining a light yeah, on this yeah. character, Aaron Taylor Johnson. Who yeah, yeah. I think seeing him in uh, when I saw him in Bullet Train, I was just like, yeah, yeah. I need to see more from this yeah, guy. Yeah. I know he's in stuff. But it's, it's a good chance he's gonna be Bond. Yeah, I just. I was like, and then of course you gotta have Russell Crowe doing something in a yeah. movie, and he's like the villain. So yeah, yeah, amazing. Uh, Scoozy, uh, I gotta give it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gotta see what how this is gonna turn out. Yeah, well, that's it. Yeah, so... Thanks for having me. Oh, of course. Now, that's all for movie news, um, movie news this week. <laughs> uh, 
those are our most anticipated movies for the second half of 2023. Let us know what you're looking forward yeah, to in the great. comments below. Bye. Until next week. Bye. Thanks, Hannah and Peter. A uh, great segment right there uh, of movie news. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, looking forward to those uh, great movies. Also, um, one that you didn't mention was the uh, Sydney Sweeney Gun Power one. If that comes yeah, out, I'm really looking forward to that. I have no idea what it's called. I just love the drama surrounding yeah, it. Yeah, I love that stuff. Uh, so, <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's go over to Hannah and clickbait. Hannah. <laughs> what is your clickbait today? My clickbait is, do the studios have too much uh, power when it comes to these movies lately? Well, yes. And TV shows. Like, I mean, why give us something and then just take it away from us? Yeah, true. Lately, we've, a lot of streaming services, Disney and Paramount and stuff, have just had these shows. Some of them, most if most, weren't that great yeah but they're still you know actual projects people worked on and they've just taken them away for just you know tax purposes so yeah. these things don't exist i can't access them so if i say if i ever did want to go back to turner and hooch which i, I don't the TV but show. if i yeah the tv show uh i can't because it doesn't yeah. exist anymore not oh, even like a oh. digital copy i could buy or a physical i'll like, play i'll play devil's advocate there was a lot of shows that probably could in the 80s and 70s, 80s, 90s that just got cancelled and yeah, never heard yeah. of it. And, and DVDs didn't exist. Yeah, the, you can go back to just even movies back in the silent era and the, and the early... And just, no, they just, just don't exist anymore because yeah. they didn't do well. Yeah. But they could be hidden gems. You never know. But there was a period where we were getting a lot of these shows on DVD so they'd have a second yes. life. And we're not doing that anymore. Which no, is a shame. We're, we're Especially getting, Disney. Even if you... Like, released it on, like, app, like digitally yeah. buy it. Like, I can buy this, even though, you know. Yeah. Like, um, a show that was kind of popular but didn't have a great audience was the um, Rise of the Pink Ladies, which was the Grease. Grease, yeah, yeah. Yeah, everyone, like, uh, it was getting a, quite a large following, the and camera. then it doesn't exist now. Oh, uh, so I'll give you an insight. Like, we're doing, um, we're prepping for a Christopher Nolan uh, live show. Yeah. Um, in yeah. preparation for Oppenheimer. And we're we're finding it really hard to get Memento and um, Insomnia. Yeah, I've never seen these movies, and it's so we're trying to you know like you know like <laughs> find these and you know and then we're also like um, a project that we've got coming up, like we're looking researching for movies and stuff, and it's really hard to find certain. But movies. it's like, but also it's um, movies that just get cut Ooh. as well. Yeah. I, I'm getting sick of like. You know, like when Batman vs. Superman, Dawn of Justice came out. Yeah. And you cut 30 minutes out of the movie and it doesn't make sense. But then when you watch the Ultimate Edition, it, it makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. But uh, a movie I love is the Judy Garland, um, James Mason, uh, Star is Born. Yeah. It is a, I love that. It's my favorite version of the uh, Star is Born story. And there's a whole, the movie when it did its first test screenings didn't do so well because people didn't really like it and it was very long. And so the studio cut a bunch of it out. And then they lost this footage. Like, it was, it's lost to time. Yeah. And so when you rewatch the movie, there's, like, a whole section of this movie that's just pictures and audio that they found. Yeah. Because that's all that's left of it. Yeah. And they've just pieced it into the movie. Oh, my God. And this, and this is... And they've just released that because oh. that's all they had left of it. Yeah. And it's like, well, but you're supposed to treat it. It's like art. Like, you wouldn't burn a piece of the yeah, Mona no, Lisa. I agree. I agree. You wouldn't and, burn it. <laughs> and the, the, you know, the, releasing things on physical media, we, we harp on this so much. But, like, they just, they've got to. They've just got to. Or just... It's, let, you, need that, you need that proof that these things actually existed. Yeah, or uh, to go back to it, just yeah. to see what happened. Or, or just, yeah. yeah it's, it's, and so... I, it's, like an audience can find it. Like some things don't are not popular at the time, but then in twenty years they find an People audience. People talk about it again, you know, and then it's like I need to find this. Great example, yeah. hook. Hook, yeah. It's finding an audience now. Yeah, yeah, and you know it's harder to get. It's yeah. harder to see. Yeah, yeah. Great clickbait, hand. Thank you very much. Uh, is there that... a, is there a missing piece of media you've lost yeah. in time? Like, yeah. do you remember something and no one else does? <laughs> oh, it's really hard. Thanks, everyone, for watching. Let's talk about what's next on our agenda. Uh-huh. Now, Mission Impossible has been released um, in our cinemas, and that is taking over all the cinemas, so there's not much 
getting there released. There is nothing really. Uh, so time. next week we're going to review our top five movies so far I mean, this yeah, year. I mean, yeah, I'm going to review. Yeah. And so we're really all looking forward to that. Mm-hmm. And then we also have coming up on July 23rd, the weekend of Oppenheimer and Barbie getting released, we're going to do a live stream of the Christopher Nolan movies. Yeah. Um, so we got great feedback from our first live stream, which is the ranking of Mission Impossible. And this one is going to be about Christopher Nolan. So that'll be on July 23rd. So I am pumped for that. And I know Hannah is as well. I love it. Thanks everyone for watching. Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe to our channels. That is my great co-host. Anna, you have anything else to say, Hen? Um, just go see Mission Impossible. Yeah. Enjoy the ride. Yeah, for sure. Oh, great. Fun cool. comedy and yeah. uh, fun action. Thanks everyone for watching. Until next week when we try to figure out what to watch next. It's bye for now. Scene. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> uh, Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. Where would you put it? In the Mission Impossible rankings. Yeah. I think it's number one. You get. You, really? I think it's number one. You love number one though. I do, but I think this is better. I think it's got comedy. I think it's got double Actually. crossing. It's got a submarine scene. It's it's got everything. It's got a train scene. Yeah. You know they built a train for this movie to wreck it. It is incredible. It is amazing. It is so good. It's second on me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're gonna was... cut off there. No, Thanks legit, every... legit, legit, <laughs> legit, no, because I was watching I was when we came home after seeing Mission Impossible, uh Dead Reckoning, came home, number two was on. Sorry, watch it the ending of I'm number so two. I'm so sorry for everyone. And then just how it ends where he's holding her and he's like Let's get lost. I'm like, oh my god, what a man. He's got the rids and everything. So sorry, everyone. Uh, that's it for the show. Thanks, everyone, for watching. We'll catch you next week. Cuckoo!